I bet you've wondered how would you ever make trophies for a group, whether it be Boy Scouts like myself or any other options, cheap, effective, and something to like. What we're doing is a putt-putt golf tournament for Boy Scouts, and I've been given the responsibility of coming up with a cheap, affordable way to give everybody a trophy. So what I've done is I've gone out and got golf balls donated by a local golf course, tees as well, and the next step we're going to need is some super glue. I'm going to take the super glue, apply it here to the top of the tee, generous as I can be without getting it all over myself, stick into everything, and then takes approximately 30 to 45 seconds for it to firm up enough for you to work with it. Now one of the things that you might notice is not only did I get this stuff for free, but it's going to be really simple to get together and, and to do, and you can do this with a lot of different things, um, be it a, a, a tool or a, a Mickey Mouse or, or anything you wanted to make an award, you can do just by spray painting it and a little bit of love, of course. So once it's firm and it's got a good good grasp, what I've got here is a cardboard piece of uh, display board and I'm using it as a stand for my tees. That way all the balls will be able to get covered in paint evenly and, and, and dry evenly. That way there's not one side that looks different than the others. Now for this particular job I've picked two different colors because we're making two trophies per age group. We're going to have a lot of fun, let me tell you. You shake it up, make sure you give it a good minute. You want to make sure your paint's not settled. Get approximately 12 inches away from your target area. and make sure you spray it evenly on all sides and there you have it the first ones are done now it is probably going to require a couple coats but It's a whole lot easier than spending about twenty or thirty dollars on trophies for kids that probably won't remember they got them anyway. Now, one thing you can take in mind when you do this is you can use any colors, any style, just about anything you want you can make a trophy for. And kids love to get things like this. I'd love to be able to get into this. Will you go get my other spray paint? Wow, this is a tough one. Go ahead and I'll go back and spray this one. Okay, now once we've got that one sprayed, go with a different color. Once again, you got to make sure you shake it up. Make sure you spray it good and full. Notice my board doubles as both a stand and a backdrop so I'm not getting paint everywhere as well. And you always want to make sure you do this outside where it's a well ventilated area.
Now, as you can see, in a matter of a few minutes, allowing them to dry, we would have six trophies ready to roll, and, and the, the kids are going to love them. I thank you for joining me today, and I hope you got a lot out of this, and I hope to see you again soon. Talk to you later. Bye.